Hi guys. So yesterday I was asked the question, um, what would a spectrometer add to me as a customer? Um, for me as a business, it would make sense. It would give me more in-depth info on pigments, but why do you as a customer want to have that information as well? And what can you do with it? Let me try to explain that. So over here, I have the artist color wheel from Bruce McAvoy from handprint.com. And uh, this is just a map of pigments uh, placed in that position based on the hue and chroma uh, of those colors of those pigments. Um, I found out something really interesting while I was working on a project. So in the project, I'm working with colors that are not mixes that you would usually make. So I started with PG26 cobalt green and mixed that with some other colors. I eventually came to mix with PV19, quinacridone violet, and this is what blew my mind. So what happened was um, it showed me a mixing curve that I didn't see coming at all. It went like this so what happened is it almost got to a manganese violet uh, 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 color uh, in ways of chroma and hue well we're mixing what seems to be two complementaries when comparing that to another mix I made with Prussian blue and quinacridone violet this happened so more of a straight line a bit of a curve but nothing as chromatic as that cobalt green gave me so how is it possible that a green and a violet which are actually complementaries almost complementaries of each other uh, give me a more chromatic violet than a blue and a violet so this is where spectral readings come in um, this is not a spectral reading, um, uh, but these are the visible wavelengths for us. Uh, and I found out that PG26 actually reflects a lot of violet, but even more near visible infrared uh, 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 wavelengths. And by reflecting those above 700 nanometers and around the 400 nanometers wavelengths, these colors uh, by reflecting that as a green, which isn't visible for us, uh, for our human eye, but it is made visible in a mix. This was what triggered it for me. And I really hope it, it explains a bit better for you as well. You might remember the primaries that I mixed. Um, I mixed a, uh, a yellow with green and orange. I mixed a red with an orange and violet and I mixed a, um, a blue with a violet and green. Um, this, is, this is exactly the stuff that I'm talking about. So what is reflected by a certain pigment and what isn't, that's what spectral readings give us and that's how we can play with colors in ways that um, we're not doing enough, I think. Uh, very exciting stuff for me and I really hope I can share my excitement with you as well. And of course, guys, it's not only for customers, it's for paint makers as well, for pigment lovers, for everyone who loves color and loves understanding color theory, how to work with it, how to uh, let them interact with each other. So this info I will give with my products, but also share online, um, for everyone to use in any way possible.